Have you got a modular helmet or a full faced helmet and want to work out how to get a GoPro Hero 7 Black attached with a microphone adapter and attach it to the helmet? Keep watching. Hello people, it's uh, 075 here again. I'm just going to do a very quick vid um, because um, even though I have got the Hero 7 camera, uh, which I would love to put on my helmet, there we go, there's the Hero 7. Um, I'm currently using the Hero 4 Silver, uh, which is obviously connected straight into um, uh, a, a microphone inside the helmet. I haven't been able to get hold of a GoPro mic adapter for several weeks because they've just basically been out of stock because this this casing won't work on its own with a microphone attached with the um, adapter I need to uh, put it within a, a, an additional case I've seen some vloggers what they've done is they put the GoPro adapter and that on the side of the helmet but you know because I've got a modular helmet it's not practical and this is where this case from Milanzi comes in. Over the years, I've had a, uh, various uh, microphones, but I am limited with the modular helmet because of the, 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 the front flip face, um, what I can and what I can't do. Um, everything needs to be focused here, including the microphones on the other side. I'll show you how um, I managed to put rig this one together, but obviously we'll, we'll put uh, this one together too. Um, I've bought cheap mics, um, which they do a job, but they're not great. This one, the, 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 you know, the, the microphone heads, um, you know, omnidirectional mics aren't good, um, you know, because it picks up sound from all over the place. Uh, so what I've managed to do is that I've bought a Senna um, 20S microphone from eBay, or I think it was for about 18 quid. And I've only used it once, but I must admit that the, the, the sound difference is so much better. Um, how we adhere it all inside, um, I just, I, I've been using like tape and things like that, but it's never, you know, strong or robust. But what for, for a tenor, buy yourself a heat gun. That is absolutely brilliant. So I'm just gonna take everything off and then readjust everything. I finally have got my hands on a GoPro uh, mic adapter. Um, people are saying, well, why do you need an extra an adapter for sounds when, you know, previously on a, on a Hero 4 Silver, you know, you could just plug in a, a mini USB connected to a, um, you know, a, you know a jack plug onto a microphone when that's so straightforward. With the software and the hardware, you can't get it all into this block. I'll throw up a little picture now to so you can gives you an idea of what's inside. There's a motherboard in there and also it looks like it's very very heavily waterproofed. Um, and then you've got the outer casing. So hence the reason why we need an extra case like this so the unit can go in there. So let's have a quick unbox. Wow that's an awful lot of packaging just for just for that. Now that does not look Overly really huge, really nice snug fit. And then we just need to wrap that round there and get that plugged in, which is actually on the other side. So what have we got there? We've got mini USB and we've got, we've obviously got the phone jack plug. That's it, that's in there. Oh, nice, nice and snug that is. And then that will then flip round into there. Now on the GoPro Hero 7, the door casing just pops off, or at least should do. Come on, where are you? There you go. Just clips out, and then that would just fit in there. So, how do we get into this? <laughs> there we go. That just slides off the back. The camera then pops in there. That slides across on the front. Slides back clips into place and then that pops in there there we go we are all done I wonder how many flies I can collect on this panel here <laughs> Now 
my helmet, which is a showing Neotech, has been an absolutely brilliant helmet. It's come to five years old, due for a replacement. Um, look at the Neotech too, but if you've got any other ideas, what other modular helmets I can buy, put a comment below. I'll be interested to find out. So there we go. That's the the camera. That's the camera. Now on, which is straightforward. The only other thing is on this side here is to now reconnect the wires. Underneath here, what I've done is let's move that there. There we go. What I've done is I've actually fed the cable and made a hole through the chin guard. So then I can wrap that wrap that round either way. Right, I'm just going to take the chin guard out, which is easily done. That just pops off just two very small little clips either side. That just falls away. Feed that back through there. I'm doing it this way. There we go. Right. So now hopefully you can see the setup of my mic system inside. I'll put a, a still shot photo as well. I'll just take all of that out. The good thing about using a heat gun glue is all of this can just be, you know, just pulled off afterwards. It's really good stuff. I'm using the Senna S20 microphone. I've used other microphones, but these omnidirectional microphones are not very good at all. This has certainly been the best microphone I've used by far. 18 quid from eBay. However, once I installed it and put the video into my computer, I realized it's actually a mono microphone, which means that the sound is left channel only. It's also got a two and a half mil um, uh, uh, plug. There it, there it is. So I need to put that into a three and a half mil, a two and a half mil female into a three and a half mil male. And then for two pounds, I've got a mono to stereo adapter. That means it will convert the left channel sound into left and right, which makes dealing with editing and that through your program, uh, you know, don't need to worry about that anymore. There you go, that's all we need. Um, and that will shorten the, the, the cable. So I just need to put this through there, into there, onto there, and away we go. There are um, several options now with the microphone, um, which has now appeared because obviously you've got the mic adapter that in there now. Um, from anything from like power mics to line in, um, but because I think this microphone is, is is very good for what it is, I'm just going to leave it on standard mic. But I'm going to be obviously testing it over the next uh, you know few days or so and see how we get on. Right, I'm just going to just uh, you know measure up. So the camera's going to be about here. I need to sort of like get this round to this side here. So I've I've got plenty of cable to deal with. All I need to do is to feed this. Actually, I'll do this now. Just take that out there, and then basically feed that through the chin guard. So that's there, ready to be put into place. And then I can quickly disconnect that from in there. So I can probably leave all of that loose in there. I just need to. Get the hook, get the hot gum, glue gum, and then just attach that to the inside there, and then so it's ready for for a connection. Right, I've just, right, I've just used the heat gum. Just took about about five minutes to heat up, and then I've just dabbed that, jet quite generously, and that on the on the uh, on the side of the uh, the adapter, and then just fix that to it quite nicely. And that's now not going anywhere. That's actually quite solid. Heat guns are brilliant. And not for about a tenner as well. Then all I need to do is then attach that to that in there. That then goes to the chin guard. Oops, upside down, chin guard, that round to the side. I just need to check the stereo mono settings that put that in there, and then that goes in the side of the GoPro camera. This is only required for the center because it's a mono microphone, not stereo. It's a shame it's not stereo, really. Uh, but it's only a, a couple of pounds. Um, yeah, it's a little unsightly, but hey, you know, it'll, it'll do the job. Turn the helmet over. Put that back in there. Oops, which way does that go? This way. 
There we go. That adapter on there. Okay. I've just left a little bit of distance for my fingers behind so I can move the, the vent open and close. There's a bit of dry glue there. That's all there. Um, so yeah, I can go straight in and also I've got plenty of room for my fingers to lift the modular helmet up. But that's the, the more important one. That then comes around. And then that should then just simply pop in there. And we've got enough slack and that on the uh, cable um, to you know flop wind and anything like that. But that's got a nice torque to it, everything's all nice and tight now. Anyway, this is just a little quick sound check with my uh, Hero 7, which is now on the front of my modular system helmet, which is tied in with the, uh, the new GoPro mic adapter is finally on at last after several weeks of waiting thank you Curry's for delivering it so quickly no one else seems to have had it in stock and anyway so quick sound check to sort of see how things go but do check out my other video of the Hastings Mayday run which is technically what I'm doing right now but I'm extracting this little bit of video to go into my modular helmet to show you what the noise is like what the sound is like and so there we have it GoPro 7 ready for a bit of motor vlogging. A little bit bigger, but with the extra mic adapter, but we should be able to get better sounds, better pictures. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do uh, click subscribe and hit that bell for future videos. Your subscription would be greatly appreciated. Um, and that's it for the moment. So until next time, thank you very much indeed for watching. Yeah, but I, but, 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 but.